हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय स्टडी चैनल केमिस्ट्री सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल बाय क्लिकिंग ऑन सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू नेवर मिस एनी अपडेट्स हेलो एवरीवन सो इन आवर टुडेस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द सिंथेटिक पॉलीमर सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल नो व्हाट इज सिंथेटिक पॉलीमर some examples of synthetic polymer and also uses of some synthetic polymer in our daily life so let's start it so the synthetic polymers are those polymers which are fully prepared in laboratory okay so this is prepared in laboratory that means it is actually prepared by human beings in the laboratory so we can also say the synthetic polymer is actually man made polymer okay man made polymer now some examples are like polyethylene then teflon then pvc pet then come synthetic rubber like buna s okay synthetic fiber like nylon 66 then bakelite terylin is there also terylene and many more now we will learn some uses of this polymer in our everyday life first is polyethylene okay synthetic polymer sir sometimes referred as plastic okay sometimes it referred as plastic of which the well known one is polyethylene now it is the simplest synthetic polymer made from the polymerization of ethylene or ethene this is the monomer unit of polyethylene so the chemical formula is c2h4 whole n for polyethylene now let's see its uses okay it is used in lamination purpose uh in plastic covers and also plastic kits now next see teflon teflon is also a synthetic polymer where the monomer unit is can you guess what it is tetrafluoroethane what is the chemical formula the formula of tetrafluoroethane is c2f4 okay so this is the monomer unit of teflon it is used in making the non stick cooking utensils and also used in hair iron or curling iron purpose now next come pvc this is a short form the full name is polyvinyl chloride many times it comes in the question paper that is what is the full form of pvc and the answer is 
this polyvinyl chloride you have to remember this now this polyvinyl chloride that is pvc is used in making pipe then blood bags which is used to store the bloods in the hospital then floating purpose etc in pvc the monomer unit you have to remember the monomer unit is vinyl chloride the formula is ch2 chcl now next come pet pet the full name is polyethylene terephthalate poly ethylene terephthalate it also comes many times in the exam that is what is the full form of pet the answer is polyethylene terephthalate so the monomer unit of pet is ethylene terephthalate ethylene terephthalate okay now its use it is used in making the bottles which we can find as a drinking water bottle in the market now come to the next synthetic polymer that is synthetic rubber polymer like buna s okay here the monomer units are styrene and 13 butadiene okay this buna s is actually used for the manufacture of tires of vehicles okay you have to remember this this buna s is used in making the tires of vehicles next come nylon 66 okay it is actually used in fiber for textile and carpets okay and its monomer monomeric unit is derived from hexamethylene diamine and adp acid okay and the monomeric unit is this is the hexamethylene part and then come adipic acid part next come bakelite another synthetic polymer now see the bakelite has high resistance resistance to electricity and heat electricity and heat so because of this property the bakelite is used in preparing or in making the switches electric switches and other electrical appliances
okay not only that it is also used in making various kitchen products because of its high resistance towards heat okay now the monomer unit of bakelite is two monomer units one is phenol and another one is formaldehyde okay I have to remember the monomer units and the another synthetic polymer is terylene now the monomer unit of terylene is What are the monomer units? Two monomer units. One is terephthalic acid. And another one is ethylene glycol. Okay. Two monomer units are here. Now this terylene is actually used in making terylene fiber. Now this terylene fiber is used to make the terricot knit terylene fiber it is used in making terricot knit as a fashion garments okay as a fashion garments so i hope today's video is helpful to you here I have tried my best to put maximum number of example of synthetic polymers present in your syllabus about their monomer units and also their uses. I try to discuss. I will prepare an another video where I will discuss about the preparation of polymers. So till then stay with us. If you like this video then don't forget to subscribe my channel and also share this video. Thank you so much.